Nine Live Adelaide, brought to you by My Budget. Live the life you want free from money worries. My Budget can make that happen. Household debt has never been higher in Australia. On average, each household owes about as twice as much as they earn each year. And the flow-on effect of that is that there's very little savings in the bank for emergencies. Now, that has slowed dramatically as well. The Australian Bureau of Statistics reports only 2.7% of disposable income is saved at the moment. That's well down on the 12% of savings rates at post the global financial crisis. So how do we turn that around? Well, let's get some budget tips from Tammy Barton from My Budget. Um, Tammy, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me, Will. Now, um, is it a good idea to think about how much all of those seemingly little purchases have uh, over the course of a year? Absolutely. And we call that discretionary spending. So the money that you're spending on non-essential items. So take, for example, you know, you might buy a coffee on your way to work every day where you might say spend $4 a day. It doesn't seem like a lot, but that adds up to be $1,000 over the course of a year. Um, money that you spend buying lunches, you might spend 10 to $15 a day or $40 a week. You know, that could be, you know, two to $3,000 right there. So you add those two things together and that's $4,000 a year you could have in your budget, which might be a nice holiday or you, know, you could pay down your mortgage faster or simply save for a home or an investment property. It all adds up. Yeah, that's a very good way of looking at it. Now, uh, I, there is a woman in America who started up a website. Now, she's quietly collecting a retirement nest egg by collecting every $5 note that she comes across or comes into her, her wallet. Um, do people need to change the way they think about, you know, $5 notes and loose change that comes uh, their way rather than just blowing it? Yes, for sure. And I love that idea, by the way, of saving that five. I love her idea because um, that five dollar note is actually a visual reminder for us to consciously or for her to consciously think about what she's spending and what she's saving. So if you think about that woman when she goes into the shops, you know, she goes to buy a magazine or a coffee and she looks at that five dollar note, it's actually a visual reminder for her to say, actually, I might take that five dollars and, and save it and rather than just spending it on something she doesn't need. Um, motivation's the next point I wanted to raise. How do people keep motivated to save money when perhaps they're starting from essentially nothing um, mm. and it all seems a little bit too hard? How do you keep that process going of the, uh, the bank balance just tipping up? Well, it's really important to have short-term and long-term goals. So the short-term goals keep you motivated and it might be as simple, we always planning to go out for dinner once a month with your partner or saving for concert tickets and then thinking about what your longer term goals are and for a lot of people that's paying down their mortgage quicker or saving for a house deposit that sort of thing so that really does keep you motivated which is what the, the beautiful thing is about a budget because it gives you that visibility to see where you're spending all your money where you could cut back and where you could see savings and when you start seeing those savings build it is actually it does actually motivate you and inspire you to stay on track yeah tammy barton sounds like every little bit counts certainly does <laughs> thanks very much for thanks your time real. this afternoon